in this video i'm going to go a little bit deeper into the apex extender i'll be creating a newbie routine using science so we're going to go through a lot of the basics this video is going to be geared for newbies of the apex so i'll be going through number one what you're going to need number two how to tape up number three the science be behind this newbie routine so we'll be looking at a study at a couple studies uh, and then after that we're going to be actually designing the routine and I'll, I'll be doing a demonstration here on good old mr slappy who you're going to see in a, in a in a few minutes it's going to be a very interesting and informative video especially for newbies so let's get started okay so first let's go over the prerequisites this is the equipment the things that you're going to need you're going to need to buy it's not going to be a lot of money the bulk of the money is going to be in the apex extender um, but you are going to spend a little bit of money on the vacuum cups so that's going to be the first thing so let's uh, let's take a look at that okay so the very first thing that you're going to need is going to be the total man all day stretcher and vacuum hanging kit so this is a pretty comprehensive kit uh, from total man these are the cups that are perfect for beginners pretty good high quality it's going to take you a long long way uh, especially to get those newbie gains and a little bit beyond this is a very versatile kit so what it includes are the vacuum cups it's going to come with a leg strap it's going to come with some micropore tape which you can also buy on amazon it's going to come with this uh this sleeve that is super super important these are very good very versatile uh with this little gray band which are also super helpful and all of this is going to cost you 67 dollars uh, plus shipping uh, they just opened their uh, shipping warehouse off in the, in the u.s uh, so for those that are living in the u.s it's going to be a little bit cheaper than it was before and you're going to get your stuff a little bit faster so this is great uh, so you're going to go here I'll, I'll leave the website uh link down below in the description um but you're going to want to do is follow the instructions uh for um for measuring your uh your glance width this is going to uh, allow you to to select the perfect uh, sizing what i highly recommend is just get like all the cups if possible so there's a sizing chart for how you can uh you can basically measure like the the it's the area right behind the glance and you're gonna get three of these chambers uh just make sure you size and you get the the right ones for most guys out there just the basic uh first three sizes are more than enough uh, you could probably get if you're a little bit bigger you can get like the you know two to four if you're really big you can get three to five uh and you know those will be more than enough if you can afford it i highly recommend that you just get all of them that way you don't have to worry uh whether you sized it correctly or what have you um and this is going to be uh you know you're going to have everything right from the get-go you don't have to kind of go back and it's only going to be a little bit more and you're going to have all the all the cups ready to go and of course you're going to need the actual apex extender which i already reviewed uh if you're watching this video you probably already know about the apex extender uh this is going to cost you 170 dollars so that's 170 dollars plus the 67 dollars uh from the the vacuum cup set um but this stuff may not be totally cheap but it's absolutely worth it especially if you're a beginner um that what i'm going through is something that i want you guys to be safe so um so the mechanisms that i'll be going the routine that i'm going to is very very safe uh very newbie friendly as as you know i do not recommend manuals i think this is the best way to go uh if you're a newbie absolutely the best way to go you're gonna need the apex extender you're also gonna want to get um some more micropore tape uh the vacuum cup set already comes with some micropore tape but you're gonna need a lot of this uh especially as you keep going at it. so you can always just go to amazon and buy some more micropore tape uh here on amazon it's 549 for the uh for uh for two of these this typically lasts you maybe about you know two to two to uh four weeks really depending on how often uh how often you're extending uh which i'll go into uh, how often should you be extending uh in the in the routine section but that's the second thing uh, that's a that's another thing that you're gonna need is the micropore tape uh next you're gonna need something called a caliper uh, this is because the apex is not shipping out uh, the built-in scale just yet like it's not ready yet uh, so uh, until that's ready you're gonna need to buy this caliper you can buy any caliper you can find it at your local uh, hardware store uh, you can buy it like this is the one that i have it's only 21 dollars um, it's very very useful and you're gonna use this to measure the tension um, to know exactly how much tension you're applying uh, by measuring the springs the spring compression and the apex extender so you're gonna need this you're gonna need, need the caliper and lastly uh, you're gonna be needing a uh, portable uh, scale this is the one that i use 
um, and you'll see me use it a little, a little bit later on. I'm going to do a demonstration. This is optional, um, but this is in case you want to actually uh, measure ex ex exactly how much your um, your extender, uh, how much your extender is, uh, is, how much force your extender, your specific extender is going to be applying. Uh, I'm also gonna going to um, um, show you guys the chart that I already made. Uh, so this is optional, but I highly, highly recommend it to to uh, recommend you to get this uh, to have this thing around. It's super useful uh, to measure um you know the extender and it's uh, very versatile this one is 22 dollars okay so another thing that you're gonna need is uh some of this lubricant um again i'll link all of this below in the description this is the one that i like it's really cool it's uh, but make sure you get a water-based lubricant um because uh that's just gonna be the best uh, you can also tr uh, try uh, coconut oil, but I like this lubricant. It's water-based. Uh, it's about $17, but it lasts me a long, long time. And uh, you can use this for sex as well. It's quite safe. Um, it doesn't have like a bad smell or anything. It's, uh, it's very, very good. So uh, you're going to need some lubricant, and this is the one that I recommend. And that's basically, that's it. That's all the things that, that you're going to need. So, um, you know, consider this an investment. Um, a lot of these things um, you're going to be able to reuse and use as you continue on your journey. Um, this is for like for your first, let's say like your first six months of extending. You want to maximize your newbie gains in, uh, and I'm talking about length. Like when I talk about an extender, it's only going to provide you with length. Don't even, I wouldn't even worry about girth. Like if you want to focus on girth, um, I'll have a different video for that. But this, if you want to focus on length, which I think, I think most, the majority of guys want to focus on, on length. And so, uh, yeah, consider this an investment and, uh, you know, I wouldn't cheapen out, like I wouldn't get any cups from like AliExpress or I wouldn't cheapen out and like not use taping and I'll go into why I think taping is the, is the way to go. Um, and I'll do a demonstration, but basically these are all the things that, that you're going to need to get started with this newbie routine. Okay. So next I'm going to show you, uh, one of the most important things and that is how to tape up. Now, um, there's a lot of techniques that you can use. Uh, some guys like to do what's called the water trick. I'm not a fan of that, uh, personally, because I think your, uh, your glance is just too exposed. Uh, I've seen guys come out like this colored and all of this, but you can try that. I'm not going to show you this. I'm going to show you, uh, something that takes up a little bit more time to learn, but in my opinion is safer. Um, it can be a little bit more tedious, but as I mentioned, I'm going for safety here. Um, so in this way that I'm going to show you how to tape up, it's like the most optimal way, uh, to, um, to basically, uh, you know, tape up and, and use the cup. Uh, so before I show you that, I want to show you how to set up the cup. So here I set up the cup. Um, you basically want to find a cup size, uh, that fits that you're able to apply when you have a chubby on. Okay, so when you when you get your cups, uh, it's not about um, get and you know sizing the cup when you're flaccid. Um, you know you have to make sure that if you have the cup on and you are to get an erection, that it doesn't cut off um, your blood or it doesn't like hurt. Because like if you if you size it and you put it on when you're flaccid, completely flaccid, and then you get an erection, that can be that can be dangerous. So what you want to do is uh, find the cups that actually fits you uh, while you're erect. That's what I like to do. So notice how this cup is actually too small. Uh, for here for a good old Mr. Slappy, if you haven't met Mr. Slappy, it's basically this dildo um, that I use for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a bigger cup. And uh, this is why getting the different cup sizes is important. So you gotta find something that um, that matches you. Sometimes the measurement guide may not, in the total man side, may not be 100% uh, accurate. So I would highly recommend just getting all the cups. So here I have a bigger cup and uh, it should fit snug. So this one fits a little bit better. As you can see, um, it just fits a little bit better. It's the next size cup from the one that I showed earlier. So if I put it all the way in, it fits, uh, fits nice and snug. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want uh, while the penis is erect. So you're going to want to find the size um, that fits the penis while it's erect. Next, um, I'm going to show you how to set up the cup. So here I have the cup. Uh, and here I have a piece of the, the sleeve. Uh, I also would recommend that you get the, the two size sleeves. I believe they have an inch uh, diameter and a 1.25 inches. Just get, you know, just get an extra one, one of each size. And that will help you uh, find the perfect size. This is a, this is a one inch uh, sleeve and that works fine. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is cut out a piece. 
it's gonna be it, uh, it's gonna be about two to three inches in length. Uh, um, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a uh, three uh, three inch uh, piece. So you're gonna use your ruler. Um, you're gonna use a ruler and you're gonna measure uh, three inches. So right here. So I'm gonna just kind of grab that and uh, look how I'm, I'm gonna hold the the sleeve like this. Basically, you're gonna use kind of like uh, these two fingers to to create it to to grab it here and then your thumb and this other finger here the ring finger to basically uh basically kind of stretch it out you're going to stretch it out a little bit and then here you're going to basically cut it now in this part it's not absolutely critical that it's perfect you're going to cut it and that's it it should be nice it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect uh but this is pretty good you're going to save the other pieces this is absolutely helpful um but notice here i basically cut out a three piece um a three inch piece of sleeve next what you're going to want to do is you're going to uh put the sleeve on the cup so you're going to put on the sleeve uh the sleeve on the cup like this okay it's going to be a little bit it's not too difficult it's not too tight it's going to kind of uh put it all the way here all the way to the ridge you see how there's a ridge here so the end of the sleeve should be up to the ridge and you're going to do that evenly uh, across the whole cup and that that basically is going to center uh the sleeve in the center of the cup hole here lastly um set up the cup the kit is going to come up with a with a, one of these extra bands and this just helps create a seal here between the cup and the sleeve so you're just gonna uh, put the put this here put this extra little piece of band here um right right here basically right on top of the sleeve where the sleeve basically makes contact with the cup here and notice this is it so this is this is going to be your cup uh then from there when you're prepping uh when you're ready to uh to basically set it up so um so one thing that i noticed and just kind of excuse this but um uh i, I i'm using the a different cup nowadays uh but you know it's been a while since i've using the tournament actually i made this a little bit too uh too long um so i'm gonna cut off about an inch of this uh just to make it a little bit easier to work with so again use like this pincer grip just cut off about an inch there you go save this this is going to be super useful and um here so you're going to end up with something like this again it doesn't have to be perfect and from here what you're going to want to do is you're going to roll it up like this basically going to roll it up like this okay and um and it's a little bit tougher when it's a little longer i prefer um just cutting it off so just keep you know cut the first piece uh two inches instead um you know hopefully you guys are watching this uh the whole way through before you actually cut it but in either case this is actually this one extra one inch piece is actually going to be extremely useful as you'll see in a moment and so you're going to um basically prep the cup and now the cup is ready to go so you're going to set this aside okay so that's um so so that's sort of a step one which is preparing the cup next uh let's go into taping so the way that you're going to tape is you're actually going to tape up uh you're going to tape while you're erect okay so the first thing that you're going to want to do it you're going to take the sleeve and you're going to take cut out little pieces they're going to be about an inch in length so you're going to cut out uh, little pieces and i already have uh three uh three pieces already cut up here uh and so three three uh you're gonna cut up like three three of these essentially you're gonna cut up three of these okay from the from the bigger sleeve you're gonna cut up from the extra the the part that you had extra uh you know because we used uh two inches here uh and then you're gonna cut up basically uh three of these and you're gonna use these uh to tape erect so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to uh get a nice erection you can watch a little porn whatever you need uh to to get erect uh you know maybe take some l citrulline or if you're taking the daily cialis it's much easier uh, but yeah just watch a little bit porn a little bit of porn and that's fine so what you're gonna do is uh, now you're erect and you're gonna want to put the first the first band on here and so you're gonna put that on okay and uh so you're gonna put that on but then you're gonna put another one on top of it okay and this is just going to help create like different levels of um of contraction force here on the base of the penis to basically hold the erection and uh a lot of the times i like to put even three uh you know make sure you you kind of play around with this uh if if all you need is two then you know that's all you need sometimes i'll need like three just because uh this process can be a little bit uh cumbersome and um yeah so you're gonna need two or three and just stack them on top of each other and that's gonna hold the erection it's gonna that's definitely gonna hold the erection okay um so you can use three of these 
next you're gonna take the 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 tape the micropore tape okay and uh and so you're gonna cut out a piece you're gonna cut out a piece about uh this long what is that it's about three inches uh by this point in time i'm like so used to it but this is about three inches uh you're gonna cut it okay and you're going to basically put it on the top of the glands so while you're erect uh you're gonna basically put it here on top of the middle of the glands here on the top so uh so i like to just put it here you can go a little bit um below the glands here just a little bit here about maybe about an inch half an inch below and then you're gonna go up and as you go up so it goes slowly and make sure you press uh like as you hold it with these two fingers here and then you press into it with this other fingers and that makes sure that you're eliminating basically like air bubbles uh so you're, it's not going to be perfect but basically you're going to go and you're going to firmly uh press it to the skin okay so here is the first one notice where it is it goes to the other side it's going to go a little bit here uh past the glance again and it's you know make sure you firmly get rid of any um any air bubbles and this is the first um the first piece of tape next uh you're gonna want to cut out another piece again also about three inches or so same same length uh and th this time you're basically we're basically going to cover like the left side of the pee hole here you're still going to cover the pee hole but you're going to cover a little bit more uh, of the left side so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to again same length here but you're going to angle it you're going to angle it a little bit and let's say it's, in this case it's to the left now uh, you're, you're going to angle it here uh to this side so um such that you're basically going to start at the exact same place as the other piece of tape you're going to go and uh and same process as you go make sure you firmly press and you're going to cover the pee hole here but this time to the left okay make sure you cover any any air bubbles here same same concept and notice this is now the second uh the second piece notice how it's at an angle here so here you cover uh the left side and now you're going to basically do the same for the right side so again uh you're going to cut out a um a piece uh another piece of micropore tape about three inches or so same process but this time it's going to be on the on the right side and notice i'm covering i'm still i'm like basically um still covering the pee hole so same so i'm just applying here at a small angle as i go up i use this other thumb to get rid of uh, air bubbles so you're going to get rid of air bubbles as you go up cover the pee hole here get rid of air bubbles and then you you know um you tape it down on the other side and here's how the first three pieces pieces of uh, tape are going to look uh, so each one is overlapping on the pee hole and you know one is slightly the you know each one the the two last ones are going to be um here angled and they're going to cover a little bit more on the left and the right of the glands uh so those are the three uh pieces these are very critical very important probably the trickiest um well the other one's kind of a little bit tricky as well so next uh you're gonna cut a, another piece of micropore tape this is gonna be a little bit longer it's gonna be around uh five inches or so so you're gonna take that so you're gonna you know it's gonna be about this length and um and this time you're gonna start on the left side if you're right-handed you know uh this is the easiest way to start at least it is for me and you're gonna basically cover this part of exposed skin and a little bit go a little bit beyond the glands here so uh so basically you're gonna start a little bit beyond make sure that you have good coverage of the skin and again you press it down you press it down and uh and, and you angle it a little bit down to follow uh the ridge of the glands so you're gonna go down and you're gonna go here now when you reach like the middle here uh what i like to do is i like to use my fingers and cut it off cut it off here okay then i'm gonna use the next piece and, and uh and continue where i left off and basically i'm gonna angle it up same thing you're basically going to cover any sort of exposed skin go along the ridge of the glands here push it down with your fingers as you uh as you apply it you go here and uh and basically you're going to follow the glands make sure you're covering any sort of exposed skin here and notice how the entire glands is now uh is now taped up okay and um if you want if you want to be extra safe 
uh, you can apply a little bit more tape here on this part. Uh, so let's just do that just to be like extra extra safe so we'll you know we'll cut out another piece about an, an inch inch and a half or so and um and you're gonna apply it here just to be extra safe uh just to have extra protection make sure you try to get rid of the air bubbles as best as you can i'll do the same on the other side okay so you go here and i'm just gonna apply a little bit extra just on those sides that only have one layer of tape and i essentially have now two layers of tape covering uh the entire glance here still very thin very much attached to the skin like i you know i pressed it down uh and all of this while i'm holding the erection so um you know with practice well first of all this is going to make sure that you don't lose your erection with practice this shouldn't take you more than you know a couple minutes two or three minutes i think i've timed myself and it takes me about three minutes for this entire process and um and you're good to go and uh here's another thing um uh, so now you're gonna bust out with um, with the uh, lotion, or not the lotion, but the, the lubricant. Make sure you get um, you know, as I mentioned, water water based lubricant. You can also use like coconut oil. I really like this um, water based lubricant. Um, it's nice. It's easy to work with. Uh, it's good for sex and, uh, and and good for um, for a lot of things in pee, like whether I'm using a vacuum uh, pump or whatever. In any case, uh, so what you want to do is uh, go back to your cup. So take your cup. And you're gonna apply. Uh, you're gonna take out some of this lube. You're gonna put it in your fingers, and you're gonna apply it to the inside of the cup, and also to the uh, here to the edges here of the sleeve. So the inside of the cup. You know, be a, you know, you don't have to do a lot. Just a, a nice thin layer here on the inside. So you can do that, and then put it on the outside here. Make sure this is nice. It makes it a little bit easier. And um, and you're good to go. What I like to do is have a towel around just so I can clean my hands and um and you're good to go uh and next what you're gonna want to do uh, you can do this before you even lube up um you know it's kind of your preference is you're gonna take off one of the girth bands one of these uh these bands here that you cut out you're gonna take it off okay you may want to take it off one or two it really depends on you but what you're gonna want to do is basically go down to a, a bit of chubby i'm gonna say about 70 percent like 50 to 70 percent erect so you're gonna go down a little bit and um you know i usually just uh, i usually take off two it really again it really depends on you uh and like how much uh how much you need uh to to keep about a, a 50 to 70 percent uh erection and then from there um you're going to basically apply the cup so you're going to apply the cup and you're going to basically basically kind of turn it turn it as you apply it as you apply it, you're going to turn it and push down you're gonna apply you're gonna turn it and push down and hold it don't don't do a lot of force do not like twist your penis like if your your penis is getting too twisted get, put more oil put more oil like um you can put more oil here if you want you don't shouldn't need to like you just need to um lubricate the cup just you know add more lubrication but if you're seeing that you're um you're twisting the penis do stop you, you it shouldn't be twisting the penis so uh when you twist it it should just kind of slide okay just like it is here and you basically push it down and what you want to do is you want the the total man logo to be on the top okay to be on top just like it is here it's going to be on top where this uh the dorsal vein here on the top of the penis is notice i still have one of the girth bands here you're still out of chubby you're about a 50 50 to 70 percent erect uh and this is very very important and now you have the cup on okay next you're gonna use the the pump uh that comes for the vacuum cup this is a slightly older model but it's essentially the same uh it's the same concept now i'll, I'll kind of be doing this video uh i I'm, i should be getting the the new total man 4.0 uh complete package soon for me to review uh you know mike was uh, kind enough to send it over for free so that's that's really really awesome um but the concept is exactly the same so you're gonna take the cup notice i haven't even rolled down the the sleeve or anything okay i just put it make sure it's snug right like there should really be like as little air here as possible really notice how like there's no there's no gap here at all like it should be absolutely snug as snug as possible okay that's how you avoid injuries so then you're gonna have this on notice i still have the growth band on here you're gonna get this out of the way and you're gonna put the put the vacuum uh this little vacuum pump and you're gonna apply the vacuum cup the vacuum pump okay and that should already uh in a real penis that should already hold uh hold the vacuum 
okay in this case it's not really doing it because of the because it's the dildo but um but this is going to hold hold the vacuum uh, cup here if it doesn't it's not a huge deal this just really helps such that when you're uh you're going to roll this down so now you have this on you already applied it this should this should be like stay basically deflated here uh and this should this your glands should inflate already and you should already have a bit of a, a vacuum seal and this just helps i uh, kind of keep the the glass in place as you roll down uh here so see if you can get a better angle as you roll down um the the sleeve here so you're going to start rolling that uh rolling down this the sleeve uh, be careful to only roll down the first layer gonna roll this down here and this is going to take a little bit of getting used to uh you're going to use your fingers to kind of pry it down go around and um, make sure you fix this if in case it got dislodged this uh this other band and this is what you're going to end up with so now you have it here and um and hopefully um this part the glance didn't go back at all uh, and it still stayed in place that's why i, I recommend to for you before you roll down the sleeve to apply uh, the vacuum and uh and now you now you have this on so you can go ahead and do this again and you can apply the vacuum and now this is going to basically uh stay deflated and uh and you're gonna create the glass is gonna inflate and you're gonna create a very good seal in the um, in the in the glass and so now if you try to like gently gently you know uh, kind of pu pull this uh, it's gonna be snug and now this is perfect you shouldn't have any sort of slippage uh, there should be good suction there should be no uh, sort of air or any sort of empty space here in the in the vacuum cup between the vacuum cup and the glands uh, and this should be snug at those at this point you can take off the, the this little vacuum pump and put it on the side you're gonna need that in a little bit and um and you're good to go now um now if you want you can uh, now uh remove this depends on now how flaccid you are at this point and again uh, i personally like to keep this on as i extend but i do not recommend that for newbie so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take off the last bit of um this last girth band take it off all the way just take it off and boom you're ready to go you're nice and taped up you have applied the um, you have applied the the vacuum cup there's a good seal there's good tension notice how i'm pulling on it and it's a good tension again you don't pull it on it uh too hard just to just to make sure that you have a good seal and again no no empty spaces here the glass is nice and compact and snug and uh basically what this does is inflating to your maximum length and because you taped up erect the the tape is basically going to prevent your glands from over expanding it's going to keep your glands safe the tape is going to prevent blisters so this is why i don't like the like the the water trick for example is because um the tape basically protects the glands from over expanding not something that you can do with like the water trick so if you want to use the water trick uh you do you but like i highly recommend just taping i know it's a little bit more tedious i know it takes time and uh, i'll show you how to how to take off the tape uh, a little bit later um easily it's like it's so easy uh, to pull to take it off it's it's really not a pain and once you get this down like it shouldn't take you more than like five minutes honestly to do this whole process um and uh and this works really really well so that's basically how you tape up okay so i also want to mention <clears throat> how do you take off uh the tape uh which is actually something that a lot of people complain about um as, just as if it's such a big deal it's not it's so easy um so the way that you take this off is essentially um uh, to to remove this uh to remove the cup basically you can just break off the seal by uh by you know uh by pulling on this and you break off the seal and uh, once you break off the seal the vacuum the vacuum pressure uh is going to be so easy and then you can just uh essentially remove the remove the cup and you're good to go and now you have the tape it's so easy to take off the tape all you need to do is go to the bathroom run some warm, warm water over it and run some warm water and then that's going to basically just make the you know make this uh make the tape come off like like butter it's going to be so easy it's going to be painless um so that's how essentially you take off the cup and uh, how you remove the tape okay so next uh i'm going to go through the um, clinical studies that i'm using to design uh the following routine and for the purposes of this we're going to go look at the restoric study and uh basically the restoric study the restorics is a device that was designed 
um, to treat the, uh, something called Peyronie's, uh, which is something that I actually have and dealt with and how I got into PE to begin with. In any case, um, the Restorix uh, device basically uh, was designed, uh, was invented by uh, by a mechanical engineer who's, uh, who, who actually uh, you know turned into a, a urologist. And so he was able to design this device and they had a couple of uh, studies uh, and basically they enrolled over 100 men total. Um, they basically uh, compared men using the Restorix for up to, you know, about 90 minutes a day um, against a control group. Basically, the control group did not receive any treatment. And basically, they had two studies. Uh, they had a, uh, a three-month study and a six-month study. And the beauty of this is because uh, we can actually track and see exactly how much you can, if you follow this study, if you follow this technique, if you follow this routine, you can, you're going to know exactly how much you can expect in, uh, in a given time period, specifically in your first three to six months. So, and, um, so essentially in the, in the study, they basically had, uh, you know, they basically had a control one. They used uh, the 30 minutes, uh, one time a day. The other one, they used basically 30 minutes, uh, with a total of, of 60 minutes. So two sessions and basically, uh, and then the other one is three sessions, each of 30 minutes a day for a total of 90 minutes in total. Now, um, now here we can look at the results. So, um, I kind of want to, I'm going to make a couple of tweaks just to make it a little bit easier to the routine. Uh, because the, the, you know, the study, um, at least doesn't really break it down into, um, you know, which, uh, you know, whether 30 minutes versus 90 minutes, uh, were there any significant, uh, changes or differences. Um, so I'm going to be play it safe and just recommend a 90 minutes. And I'm also going to say based on my own uh, experience that you can just have one session of 90 minutes a day. Now, the reason that you have to break it up with the Restorix, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the actual Restorix device in a second. It's because the Restorix is a clamping device and it's going to basically clamp down on the head and it's going to cut off circulation and such. You cannot just have one session of 90 minutes a day. Uh, I, you know, when I, you know, when I started doing this routine, um, instead of the Restorix, I just work for 90 minutes a day and, um, and you know, longer in my case, but like with 90 minutes a day, like you're, you're going to achieve the exact same results. Um, and, um, in any case, so these are the results that you can expect, uh, if you follow this routine after 12 weeks. So changes in length, you're going to get about 1.6, uh, centimeters, about half an, half an inch. This is the absolutely safest, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, it, it is my theory that if you were a little bit longer, you can probably maximize this to go a little bit longer. Now, for example, in the Penny Master Pro, uh, we saw this, um, which is another study, but you had to wear that a little bit longer. Now I'm not going to bore you with that. Like that's going to be, that's a whole different video. Uh, you can check that out. I have a different video on how you increase peanut size with science. We're actually go into the difference between the Penny Master Pro study and the Restoric study. In any case, if you follow this exact study at the, you know, on average, you should gain, uh, and keep in mind, this is with guys that just used it for 30 minutes a day, uh, bundled in with the guys that used it for 90 minutes a day. So, uh, so on average, uh, you can expect a 1.6 centimeter, uh, gain, uh, if you follow this protocol in just, in just three months, that's about half an inch. So, um, so if you see uh, approximately 19 and 20 participant experience on improved length, now approximately 27% of the men in the trial experience uh, greater than 2.0 centimeter increase in length. So if I, I would recommend that you actually um, wear it the whole 90 minutes a day uh, to expect about a 2.0 centimeter increase uh, in length in three months. Okay. So this is, this is what we're going to use to essentially uh, design our um our our routine now let's look at the results for for the six months and let's see what kind of results we can expect following this uh following this routine after six months so we see here that after six months the average so the average increased from 1.6 to 2.0 centimeters um and that average daily use, the average daily use was only 40 minutes. So if you only want to like, if you want to just get 2.0 centimeters, you only have to wear about 40 minutes. Okay. Uh, for six months and you're going to gain almost an inch. Also know that I'm going length improvements were achieved with additional use. 
which is why uh you know if you look at like say um you know um well my own personal experience my own uh, personal uh deep dive into other studies is that you can expect a whole inch if you wear it for six months for 90 minutes a day and so that's the routine that i'm going to that we're going to design and we're going to use so we're going to aim to gain uh, an inch in six months wearing the device uh 60 90 minutes a day um but you can you can probably get that from just 60 minutes a day so i recommend 60 to 90 minutes a day obviously some days you know you're gonna be busier than others i would say like try to aim for 90 minutes a day um but you can just you know get away with two uh, with 60 minutes a day so notice this is what the what the basically the science says uh what the studies say and so this is what we're gonna use to uh design our um our routine oh, okay so next i'm going to show you uh how the restorex device works and how we're going to basically mimic its mechanisms um with the apex restorex and why the apex uh, with the apex extender and why the apex extender is actually better under the restorex for uh penile lengthening i'm not going to talk about curvature because again this is for newbies I have different videos on curvature. I talk about it in the Apex review. There's different ways. Uh, the Apex is absolutely amazing for curvature, uh, but we're gonna focus on just pure lengthening. Uh, so the way that the Restorex works is essentially you have this clamp here. You have this clamp here, and you basically, uh, you put some wrap on your penis, you put the penis here, and you clamp it right, be uh, right behind the glands. You, uh, you, you put this on. This locks the 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 head of the penis, so you're basically uh, um, blocking blood flow to the penis. It's it's not comfortable. Like it's just not very comfortable. To be perfectly honest, I don't like it. Um, but it, the device is amazing. Like it, don't get me wrong, I used it for a while, um, and it's it's you know well worth it. But their apex is just better. Uh, in any case, so you clamp the head of the penis, and then um, and then you have these um, this thing here. You basically push it. It has these springs. And this is how you engage and start to apply uh, traction to the penis here. So at this point, is this going to push against the pelvis and it's going to apply traction. This little white line is called the treatment zone. And this is why the Restorex um, is actually found to be more uh, um, effective than other devices such as the Penny Master Pro because this is the critical piece. It's called the treatment zone. Okay. And so essentially... Uh, when you put it on, um, you basically, you engage this, uh, this part has like, um, these rods have little like stoppers here and, uh, there's different clicks. So the more, uh, the more tension you apply, there's a click. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a click and basically these little uh, rods. And so you apply it. Uh, it has this little, this little lever here, so you can sort of push it back in. But as you, as you pull it out, it clicks into place. Okay. And when you have the penis, this basically, as you add tension, um, this gets pushed in and this little white line, it starts to getting, um, starts getting very more and more as you apply tension. And now the goal of it is to essentially, um, make sure that the white, that the white line is barely visible. And that's where you are basically in the treatment zone. Okay. So we need to figure out exactly what is like what are the what are the forces How, what is the weight uh what is the tension force that this treatment zone is right because what happens is when you have the device on and you're applying traction uh the penile tissues are going to relax this is also known as the strain factor of the penis but essentially the t the penile tissues will relax and you're going to start losing uh you're going to start losing tension and more and more of this white line is going to show so if the white line is all the way out here, you're basically applying no tension. So what you're supposed to do is you have to dynamically add tension. It's called dynamic tension adjustment to stay within the treatment zone. Okay. And so as you add more tension, it's going to basically rehide and you have to do this while you have the device on. Because again, uh, the penile tissues are going to relax. You're going to, you know, it's called the, the strain rate and, uh, and basically you're going to relax and, um, and you need to add tensions to stay within the treatment zone while you have it on. This is absolutely critical. This is why the Restorex is uh, more effective than other devices. Okay. So, uh, so the, the, what we want to figure out is what exactly is the weight, the tension forces of the treatment zone. And for that, we're going to use a fish scale. So, um, so we're going to, I'm just going to like kind of demonstrate that real quick. 
so you what I like to do is uh, take this off you don't need a restore X you know you can basically uh, other people have done it before me but I want to, to verify this and so I'm gonna use the fish scale to do this so let's let's do that now uh, so in order to figure this out we're gonna use the fish scale so I'm gonna head and take out the fish scale okay so I have it set it to, uh, to pounds and so um, this part is a little bit tricky I have the fish scale on uh, it's a little bit tricky and again I'm just doing this for you guys <clears throat> with my own personal restorex device you guys don't need to do this but just so like you can see how I did it uh, so essentially uh, it's a little bit tricky but you're gonna I'm basically gonna apply tension here until I see where the light the white lines are hidden now if you can see you can see that and you can see that the scale says so it's about four four to five pounds or so yeah like about 4.5 pounds uh when i'm like right in the right in that uh that treatment zone right like 4.5 pounds so we can say that the treatment zone is about <clears throat> four to five pounds and uh that's basically the 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 weight the tension that we're going to use so here we use the a scale to measure it okay let's just do that one more time just to make sure yeah it's about uh yeah 4.5 yeah 4.51 pounds perfect so that's that's the tension that we're gonna go for so now here we have um the apex extender and what we want to do is essentially um you know before um you know we're gonna learn how to apply it on so um okay so i know i kind of went through uh through the whole measuring thing but i'm gonna take a step back and i'm going to show you how do you first even apply the the extender first so um <clears throat> so in order for you to start um you know one difference between the restorex and a vacuum cup is that a vacuum cup um you have to basically kind of um uh condition your glands so when you apply uh tension the vacuum within the within the vacuum cup is um goes high uh well you know relatively high the more tension you apply the more vacuum there is the more forces and so you basically have to condition your glands to to be able to take those uh, tension forces so you do not start at 4.5 pounds uh, i'm actually going to recommend five pounds just to go a little bit higher um but you're not going to start at five pounds you're going to start around two pounds so um so what i'm going to do is uh I'll, I'll put up a, ch a chart a chart here for how can you use the caliper to uh to measure exactly how much tension you're applying now i'm going i'm not going to go through that process but essentially um what i personally did this chart that i'm posting is my own personal measurement of uh using uh the fish scale and then measuring exactly the compression of the of the of the springs here so um so first what you're gonna want to do is just before anything uh, learn how how do you apply the how do you apply the you know how do you, how do you put on the extender you know this is a newbie video so the, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to make sure that this is facing up okay this is gonna face up the the base is going to be flat this is gonna go flat on your pelvis uh, the hook needs to be going up okay and uh, and so you're gonna uh, put your penis through uh through the you know basically through this top hole here with this here and so this is how you're going to put on the extender next we're going to want to do is you're going to uh, loosen the 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 screws here this nuts here you're going to go down okay so you're going to uh, loosen it loosen it loosen it and this is going to depend heavily on um on your penis uh, length so you're going to loosen it a good amount okay and you're gonna set the bars here make sure that it's even there's a little bit uneven make sure it's even so when the bar rests here it's basically going to be even okay okay so it's gonna be even notice how the hook is a little bit past uh past this little hook and this is because you're not gonna apply any tension right away you're just going to set it there okay notice it's gonna this this bar just sits here you're not gonna have any sort of tension at first okay now you have the extender on okay you're gonna leave that on and then you're gonna start evenly uh tightening the 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 here the the nuts here until you slightly feel a little bit of uh of tension okay and then you're gonna stop okay and that's how you put on the extender okay so this is how you put on the extender the extender is on you literally have like no tension whatsoever the 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 extender is basically on 
this this bar moves but you're not applying any tension so uh, next what you're gonna want to do is refer to the chart and we're gonna aim for the first week or so uh, let's say let's say this be prescriptive and let's say for the first um, week you're going to stay at two to three pounds you're gonna slowly work your way such that by the end of the second week you're up to the five pounds okay but the first two weeks you're gonna start with the first day you're gonna start at two pounds okay and you the first day you start off at just 30 minutes like don't overdo it okay start off with a very slow amount maybe even less because in this first few sessions you're really just conditioning your glands learning how to tape up learning how to use the extender learning how to measure the tension and so it's more like uh, you know uh you know don't go all gun ho don't go all cowboy like you're gonna hurt yourself so take it easy this is a marathon this is a it's a lifestyle this is gonna take a long time so uh, so now you, you apply the tension now how do you measure the tension well you're gonna take the caliper and you're going to basically measure from the top of the screw here all the way to the bottom of the plate here so here you're going to basically measure here make sure that uh that the plate uh, doesn't really move notice here it's at seven millimeters so i'm basically applying no tension whatsoever right now and so we're going to aim for two pounds okay at very first so what you're going to want to do is you're going to slowly start applying the tension okay slowly you're going to feel a strain you're going to feel a strain keep going slowly as you go periodically measure the tension so now here we're at 66.5 our goal is uh 63 millimeters so we're going to add a little bit more tension now again double triple check the chart um uh, to make sure it's the latest uh, i highly recommend that you measure it yourself with a fish scale but go to um you know look up at the muscle novelties um you know discord or their forum and ask for the latest one and they should have the latest one you can follow mine i think mine is very very accurate because i measured it myself um but as always in case there's anything wrong and you know i can't like you know uh edit the video once it's published so make sure you you look up the latest um tension chart for for the apex okay but in this case what i measured is for two pounds we want to have at 63 millimeters so i said 66 so we're going to add a little bit more add a little bit more tension okay add a little bit more tension gonna remeasure it no, didn't add enough tension so we're gonna go a little bit more add more tension okay you're gonna add more tension make sure you do it evenly the bar should stay straight as best as you can okay so we're at 63.5 very close just add a tiny bit more just so that we hit that 63 millimeters and we're here 62.9 it's pretty close and just leave it okay leave it uh leave it on uh so let's say that we're our first session you're just doing 30 minutes just leave it at 30 minutes slowly over the next uh you know the next day or so work your way up to 90 minutes but at this tension force at 63 um now what's going to happen is as you have it on the penis is going to start to relax you're going to get what's called a strain or a relaxation of the tissues and so uh you're basically going to start losing some of this tension so this is going to uh essentially going to uh the the caliper when you measure it after uh, after like say five ten minutes it's going to go up okay so essentially like let's just uh you know let's mimic a strain here oh no we went up to 64.3 so that means that the penis basically relax and we need to add a little bit more tension after about 10 10 minutes or so to go back to the 63 uh the 63 uh let's just kind of you know mimic that here it's the 63 uh, millimeters here so you're gonna periodically do that i would say check about every you know five, 10 minutes or so it's kind of periodically check and you're gonna dynamically adjust the tension you're gonna add the tension to hit that 63.3 uh, millimeters and you're gonna do this uh for the next um you know week and you're going to over the next few days you're gonna start with the 30 minutes but you're gonna go up to um 90 minutes okay and start up to 90 minutes at two pounds over the next like the first few uh three days and then after that um i start increasing the weight and start to increase it so now we start at two so now let's go ahead and um and uh you're basically going to slowly work your way up to five pounds which is uh 5.58.5 uh, uh, millimeters okay 
so now let's say you're already conditioned you're ready to go up so you're gonna go up and now we're gonna go up to the whole five pounds and again just kind of stay between two to five pounds um you know between essentially 63 uh and 58.5 millimeters anywhere in that range just slowly kind of go up but you, your goal is to essentially hit um 58.5 millimeters so you're going to add more tension okay so let's say now you're at the end of week two and now you're really ready to start the program this is when like you're basically starting the Restorex program now i'm being overly cautious the participants in the Restorex study just went straight to five pounds but again we're using a glance cup which is a little bit har harsher um a little bit harsher i mean it's, it's i wouldn't even say harsher it's just um because that that compression is really harsh on the glands this is better but it takes a little bit more time to really condition by the end of the two weeks you'll definitely be conditioned to go up to uh, five pounds and you're gonna do this uh essentially every day you know you're gonna do this every day um you know if, if you're being patient you can probably you can probably skip like let's say the weekends uh it'll just take a little bit longer but we're, i'm going to be prescriptive here and say you do this absolutely like every day and, and because if you do this every day you're gonna hit those length goals of one inch in six months so you're doing this every day so now we're gonna we're gonna go up to five pounds so we're gonna apply tension so again go up slowly 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 okay and you're gonna hit uh, so that's you know at 60 so we're gonna go up a little bit more make sure you keep it uh, nice and even a little bit more it's a little bit more okay so that's 58.8 gonna just do a touch more here perfect 58.5 okay and so um, so yeah so you're gonna leave this on at 58.5 and you're gonna wear it for 90 minutes every 10 minutes or so uh, periodically check that the caliper that the springs stay at this length of 58.5 you're gonna start losing tension which means this number is gonna start to go up as your penile uh, tissues begin to relax again uh, that, that's why it's so critical with the with the Restorex uh, to stay within that this treatment zone here so this is essentially what we're mimicking here we're staying here okay now imagine uh, that in order for us to add more length to the rod dynamically we just need to adjust the, the nuts here to stay at 58.5 and um that's that's basically it <laughs> you know if you do this if you follow this uh, routine uh you can essentially as i mentioned over the course of six months you're gonna gain uh about 2.4 centimeters you're gonna gain an inch of length based on the studies um and um there should be no variance like there's no such thing as you know i don't want to confuse you too much but there's a lot of other uh, there's some other um sort of programs out there that like have you measure strain rate and like other things i you know for me um the best things in life are simple the you know the you know the 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 more elegant things in life whether it's like programming whether it's like formulas whatever it's simplicity the simpler the better less is more and so you you can complicate it more a little bit later but what we're doing here is we're essentially uh getting you acquainted with the extender getting you acquainted with having a good consistent routine not having you go too gun ho not, like having you be safe um and uh learning how to you know how to use the vacuum pump learning about tension forces uh conditioning your penis to you know to to feel the tension conditioning your glands um and doing all this and so this is the safest way um you know if you look at the studies there was basically no real uh side effects there was no no real sort of issues uh with people more, like whatever issues they saw were like temporary so you know one of the reasons that i just you know don't recommend is um essentially like you know man that's why i'm so against manuals because they're just especially for beginners just so prone to injury this sure there may be a higher learning curve but it's safe it's predictable it's based on science it's measurable it's repeatable right um and so you can expect uh, the results if uh if you actually follow through and when i say follow through do this every day for six months dynamically attention and you're gonna see results okay and so i just wanted to um, add a couple more uh tips and tricks uh while you have this on uh, so one thing that i like to do <clears throat> just in case that you're losing uh the vacuum uh the vacuum pressure here and let's say that your penis is basically slipping out and you're starting to see 
uh, more of it basically kind of slip out and you're starting to see more empty space here between the glands and the cup is what I like to do is actually have the pump on while I extend. So what you're going to want to do is, um, you know, let's say that you, you barely, you barely kind of attach the, attach the, the, um, uh, the extender at its lowest settings. You're just going to pump, pump it up, pump up, pump, pump the pump here. And, um, and it's going to stay deflated like this. And then from here, you can add more tension and just keep this on. Just kind of keep this on. It's not, it doesn't really get in the way or anything like that. Um, and that helps you, um, that helps maintain the, the vacuum here and basically helps prevent the penis from slipping out of the cup. So that's another, uh, that's another trick. And of course, um, we know when you're all done, you can just finish and, uh, you know, remove it, remove it from the extender. And, um, and from there you can just basically remove the penis from the, uh, from the extender. And then to remove it, you're going to break the seal here. You can, you're going to hear a noise like tss, you're going to hear it. And then from here, you can just kind of remove it, um, <clears throat> remove the, you can just basically kind of fold this up here and then remove it. And you're going to be able to remove it. Um, one tip here is, uh, if you want this, this leaves to last you a long time, I highly recommend you actually take it off here and actually wash it, uh, wash it periodically because the, the, the lube can actually cause this to degrade. Actually, one thing that I don't like about the total men's sleeves is they're actually, uh, a little bit kind of like if you put the, if you leave the lotion on, they're going to degrade. Um, and so here's actually something that happened. Um, I actually had the sleeve on, uh, and it, it basically burst. Um, so just something that I recommend, uh, just washing, take care of them. And, um, and also, um, yeah, just, just basically just take care of them, just take it off and then, you know, leave this off and, and wash it. And, uh, that'll, that'll make sure that you, uh, that these last you longer, uh, as far as the taping goes, um, basically all you have to do, uh, to remove the tape is a uh, run, run, go to the bathroom, run a little bit of uh, warm water, nothing too hot. And basically just put your penis on it and, 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 and soak this up with some warm water. Just let the water run over it. And then basically you're going to be able to take off the tape and it's going to be painless like butter. It's going to be really, really easy uh, to take off the tape. And, um, and you're basically uh, good to go. And there you go. That was a pretty comprehensive video. Hopefully it'll be useful, specifically geared towards um, beginners, uh, beginners of the, um, the Apex Extender. I went through a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of um, um, concepts. And so just kind of, you know, make sure you, you revisit every part, you master every part. And if you follow the program, this new routine, which is based on science and scientific studies, um, it's simple, it's simple. Uh, then you should be able to safely, safely gain, um, an inch in six months, which is great. I mean, imagine you're from, you know, going from six to seven, uh, and more, and that's just the newbie gains. That's just the newbie gains. And so after that, you know, I'll make separate videos on where to go from there. But from there, we can start adding more complexity. Like I'm not going to be prescriptive. Uh, it really depends on lifestyle, whether you want to add more time or more tension. Typically the more tension, the less time, the more time, the less tension. I prefer the more time, the less tension, just because that's more what my lifestyle, my lifestyle is conductive for. And, um, but I'll have different videos on that. If you have more questions, uh, reach out to me on Reddit. Uh, but I think this video is, uh, has been very comprehensive and taught you like all the concepts that you need to put up, uh, that you need to, uh, that you need to use the Apex extender, which is, it's an excellent, uh, piece of hardware, uh, for PE and the treatment of Peyronie's. So, uh, Hey, if you like this video, make sure you support this channel, share the, share the video, talk about it, uh, like comment and subscribe and make sure to check out these other videos, which may be relevant to you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.